Hey everyone, Trey Mick from Magnet Forensics, and today we're going to look at how we can acquire both from Lyft and Uber and take a look at what that data looks like once we get it inside of Axiom. So I'm in Axiom process. I'm going to go ahead and head to Evidence Sources, Cloud, Acquire. Next, I'm going to go ahead and select Lyft. For acquiring Lyft data, we're going to have to actually have the phone number for the account that we want to acquire from. So I'm going to go ahead and put that information in. Next, we'll enter the verification code. It's important that if you're going to be acquiring from Lyft that you make sure you have the device that's tied to their account so that you can verify uh, through uh, our process to be able to get it to access that data. So uh, is that me? Yep, that's me. And I'm going to go ahead and enter in my second level of identification with just my email. Now that we're logged into Lyft, we can select both the profile information for my account as well as the trip data for my account. And for this investigation, I'm going to go ahead and say I want to set a date range for all of my activity after December of last year. So I'm going to say after. Navigate back to December 1st. Hit next. Now that we have our Lyft data, I've already acquired from Uber, which is going to be a very similar process. I'm going to go ahead and hit analyze evidence. Analyze evidence one more time. And once we get our data acquired, we're going to take a look at what that looks like inside of Axiom. Now that we've acquired information from both Uber and Lyft, let's take a look at what that looks like inside of Axiom. So I'm going to go from case dashboard down to artifacts. I'm going to expand out cloud. And we have some options here as far as our Lyft profile information, our Lyft trip information, our Uber trip information, as well as our Uber account information. Uh, for us to review. I'm going to jump over the Uber account information only because it does have uh, passwords and plain text, things like that. I'm going to go ahead and start with the cloud profile information as well. Here you can see we have uh, my basic information as far as my user ID, the phone number that's associated with my account, that I have taken a ride, and that I have a photo uh, that's a part of my profile. So good information to start. Next, I'm going to look at the Lyft trip information. Looking at this data, we can see we have ride IDs, we have both the pickup address as well as the drop off address. We also have the pickup coordinates for our lat long. So if we want to geolocate those, we can along with utilizing the pickup and drop off addresses. So good information. If we look at the right hand side, it's broken out a little bit differently. So we can see the address here. We can see uh, we also have things like the driver ID. We have the driver's name. We have the driver phone number when they uh, activated their account. We can also see things such as the driver picture URL and their vehicle information, such as the make model, also the license plate that's associated with their account and their trip status of what happened with that particular event with Lyft. So good information to have very, very quickly from this Lyft acquisition. Next, I wanna show off the Uber trip information. Very similar, but there is a couple of different pieces that you will see inside of Uber that Lyft does not have and vice versa. So as you can see, right off the bat, we have the origin address as well as the destination address. We have the de departure time. We have the Latin long just as we did before. On the right hand side, when we're kind of looking through the right, we can see the rider IDs, we can see the trip status, and we get some of the information from the driver, but not nearly as much as we do inside of Lyft. We also have a map tile URL that will also be associated with Uber data. And this is a really cool because this will actually show you the route that they took. So if you want, we could copy and paste this URL into a browser if you're on the network and we could take a look at that or we can actually just hop on up to media and start looking at some of these pictures and you'll be able to see some of that information as far as the destination and the locations that were drop off for the Uber events. Now let's take a little bit more information back at Lyft and kind of dig into Lyft just a little bit more. Uh, one thing that's really interesting, let's say you need to identify who is driving a Lyft just to associate with potentially a crime that occurred and you need to have a photo lined up for your victim. One thing you could do is actually come over, grab this URL, and if I copy this and jump into a web browser, we can paste that URL in and get a quick picture of the drivers. So we could go about it that way and grab those pictures, but there's gonna be a little bit faster way for us to be able to do this for our investigation. Instead of looking at each individual trip via Lyft and having to pull these images manually, we can do it a little bit faster utilizing one of our free tools. So I'm actually going to open up 
Web Page Saver version 3 that we just uh, released just a few weeks ago. And we're going to be able to utilize this to capture the information off of those websites. So first we need to get the data so that we can load that into Web Pager. So I'm actually just going to go right back into Axiom. I'm going to select the trip information, right click, create report. I'm going to create a quick CSV file, hit next, selected files. Yep, that's great. I'm going to clear everything except for the cloud information for lift trip because that's all I'm concerned about. I'm going to hit next. I'm just going to leave everything as is, hit next, and I'm going to create the report. Now that we have our report, I'm going to go ahead and hit open. So you can see we have a lot of information in here and we could have actually subtracted a lot of these columns before exporting this data out from Axiom if we wanted to. That's actually one of the new features of Axiom 4.0. But really, I'm just gonna come over very quickly here and just grab these URLs that have the driver pictures. I'm gonna hit copy. And then once I get back inside of web page saver 3.0, I'm gonna hit add URLs. I'm gonna paste those URLs in, hit close. I'm going to go into my options. I'm going to say I want this into a PDF and I want to save the HTML and the media. I'm going to hit save and close and next I'm going to hit start. We need to designate where these files are going to be saved. So I'm just going to say I want to create a new folder on my desktop. I'll name it lift. Hit OK. And we're just going to let Web Page Saver 3.0 pull that information that we just requested from it. Now that we've captured all that information, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and select the HTML file. Here you can see we have a quick report of what Web Page Saver 3.0 pulled for us. We can see each one of the capture details. And we can hit the media information so we can see that picture. And now we can utilize this to build out a profile if we need or build out a lineup for selection of a suspect from a victim. Hopefully you can utilize both the Lyft and Uber acquisition features that are now available with Axiom and also make sure to check out our free tools that we just updated over on the website at magnetforensics.com. Thanks. Have a good day.